pretty amazing that that song is, is barely eight months old. It'll be nine months old when the album goes out. You know, nine months ago that song didn't exist in any shape or form, which kind of it still it still blows my mind that you can have an idea, write it, record it, you have it mastered, have a lyric video done for it, and it's, and it's out there within the space of seven, eight months. I think it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. But anyway, the song I'll never forget it. We were playing uh, in Homeforth in, in Yorkshire. It was uh, last June, I believe, and um, it was Robbie Crane's first show with the band. So there was a lot of excitement about Robbie joining the band and a lot of, you know, energy and you know, feel good with Robbie coming in and, and, and being the, the awesome person that he is. So we're all in high, and we and it's a great little venue up there in Homeforth, and, and the backstage is really nice. And I was just in the dressing room, and as always, as always, we always have acoustic guitar in the dressing room for this very reason that I'm about to explain to you. And I heard this going on in my head. And uh, I thought it was something else. And then I just I kept hearing this, this riff and picked up the guitar and, and then it's just a case of matching the melody to the chords. And I started playing the riff um, to the song. And uh, it's being typical me, maybe it's the the punk rocker in me, but I always tend to play everything way too fast. And Scott Gorham walked in and said, you know, what's that you're playing? I said, it's, it's, it's an idea, it's a new idea. He said, that's great, you're playing it too fast. He said, slow it down. Um, and so I did. And, you know, instantly, it, you know, Scotty was right, it had a groove, and it just felt much better. So that's where the, the actual riff for that song came from. And then, fairly quickly after that, actually on that tour, um, I had the idea for basically the lyrics and the chorus and, uh, and the verses, that all came really quick. It's one of those songs that I actually wrote I think, the lyrics in about 10, 15 minutes for the whole thing. Um, you know, there was a lot of writing going on in Belfast. And, um, surprise, surprise, but um, that's somewhere to do with the, the flag situation over there, unfortunately. And that was on the news and I was kind of just watching that. And, you know, my heart always sinks when you, when you see that kind of stuff in, in your own country. And uh, I just thought about it of it all and you know that was going on at the same time I was reading a, a, a biography of Muhammad Ali and just how he overcame um, every obstacle in his way to be the ultimate you know heavyweight champion in the world and his whole attitude and about beating the odds and I think it was just taking those two things as a blueprint and, and I just started scribbling and the idea you just got to live with a killer instinct you gotta you know you gotta get out and believe in yourself and and uh, you know, give a little bit of yourself away, but not too much, and, and be the best you can be. And you know, the usual thing: treat others how you'd like to treat yourself. And I think that's where the whole lyric idea came for that song. It's actually a very, very positive song. It's not a negative song in, in any way. So and even the title is something negative. It's not. It's about believing in yourself and, and uh, going out there and achieving your dreams. Well, it's a kind of a variation on a theme that. I've seen you echo before that seems to resonate in in what you're doing and like you're quite famous you had a solo album that was called Love Many Trust Few which kind of is a variation on that on that theme <clears throat> where you have to give a little bit of yourself away but not too much because people will just gobble it up. Yeah, I mean it's just calling it like it is. It's a the world's always been tough. It's not any people go it's it's you know times are really tough we lived in. I mean listen, you know you, I'll take living now and go back to living in the Middle Ages and the stuff that they were dealing with back then. It's it is tough and you've got to be strong to survive. You know, life life is not, you know, a bed of roses and, and I'm glad it's not because it would be boring if it was. Um, so it's really just writing it like you see it. You've got to get out there and you've got to try and get on with people, you've got to try and live your life the best that you can and, and you know, that's, that's my personal take on it. And, uh, like I said, it was it was quite an easy song to write. It came together very quickly. Now this this song, the title of it, also very early in the process, you had determined that it was going to be the name of the album as well. Yeah, just everybody liked the title, and um, it just seemed to follow on nicely from All Hell Breaks Loose. It had, it had something about it. it had impact. It had energy. It had power. It was a, it was a powerful statement of intent. Black Star Riders, the Killer Instinct. It just sounds great. Um, so we, even before we recorded a note for the album, we knew what the album was going to be called, which is very rare because usually that's like, oh shit, what are we going to call the album, you know, we're going to call the title, and 
But uh, we had that done very early on, which was, uh, which was cool.